an Elegy TV original series. Baby, on your way out of here? Yeah, I got a couple things I gotta take care of. Plus, like, getting a jump start on work. I hate to be backed up. Now, you sure you know where everything is, right? Oh, and please take that trash out with them stinking ass tuna fish cans in it. Anything else? Don't play with Yes, ma'am. Yo, by the way, I'm going to the hood today to show my pretty face. If you say so. I don't know why you want to go into the place where you got in the most trouble in, in the first place. You need to start looking for like some type of work activity. You know, the kind of stuff that keeps you out of trouble. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, I know. Seriously, those. Please stay out of trouble. I can't take seeing you in handcuffs again. That's a nice and nice <laughs> You touched it enough last night. Bye bye. Ella. Dose, man. Glad to see you home, son. Shit is incredible, son. Incredible. Yeah, I got a lot of shit different. Come on, man. I don't know no dose out here doing what I do, man. You know? Heard you doing more than your ones and chores. Yo, bitch. I'm a drug that you purchase. Uh -huh. Purified dirt, make it poor and feel worthless. Yeah. Listen to the music, you can see the word surface. Yeah. I'll be right back soon, man. 
Choke nations, your boy Hillary and I could war like Reagan. Think with a snake equation, purple hazing. Now your body shaking on the floor like you're breaking. Your rappers are egg whites, cheese bread, and bacon. You fuck boys trying to rob me? Glad you're taking. I make this and more in a couple of days. It ain't about the money. It's about chewing that city boy running around thinking you're out of shit. We had to take y'all down a couple of nights. It's always niggas like you who would be like that. Popping bottles and shit, paying bitches rent and all that. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> I can do what I do, though, you know what I'm saying? You need to come out of town with me, son. Paper on another level out here, boy. It's crazy. No, I'm good. I'm gonna fall back. What? The great deuce falling back? Fuck is the world coming to, yo? I just gave back 45 years. That eight years I did is enough. Go to jail eight day, dudes. Come on, man, you sure? I'm sure, B. Shit is a trap anyway. What you mean? I mean this shit, all this shit. The peace, the drugs, the murders, the killings. You know what I'm saying? I read some articles, some books and shit. Oh, oh. My nigga, you can read? Seriously, B, my shit is impeccable. <laughs> we gotta stop this bullshit we doing out here, brother. My nigga, who, who the fuck is you? Martin Luther King Jr., nigga? Yo, are you fucking kidding me, son? These niggas fucking bum ass niggas. What happened? These niggas ain't cover the fucking spread, yo. I lost mad bread just now. Like, how much was this one for? Shit. Yo, not now, bro. So, how much? We have to keep track of what we're spending, right? What are you talking about, yo? I mean, I can't just spend whatever the fuck I want. So how much money? How much? Five. All right, um, 500 isn't bad. I mean, we just gotta manage a little. I'm 500, I'm talking about like five racks, 5,000, like five Gs, like one, two, three, four, five, five thousand. Like, nigga, now that's you a pass lot of motherfucking money, you take man. Like, you can't smoke no weed. You're losing our like, fucking money. Like, I'm call this nigga real quick, man. See what the fuck he told him about. Yeah, do that. I actually for your second opinion, yo, fuck out of here. I gave it. Call this nigga, hold on. Yo, yo, honey. Good. Yo, I just seen something. Something really home. Yeah, yeah. You sure? Alright, son. <laughs> Nigga, I know we did a lot of fucked up shit out here. It was a little too late to try to do better now. Especially you, boy. Yeah, I know. But I feel we can do better. Oh, who that? Oh, right, all oh, right, all oh, right. My nigga, <laughs> oh, Jones. Oh, yeah. Right there with the black. Fuck us up, baby. How are you, bro? Chris, what's up, baby? What up, boy? What's up, baby? Huh? All right, my son, Jones, home, son. You already know, nigga. It's about to get crazy out here, nigga. But 
It's good, nigga. What would you get into? Here's not. Shit, Gordon Marco got me. Voice over here, spent some death poetry. I ain't want to be in the game no more. You do know we love park boys, right? <laughs> Pretty sure that. You, you do know uh, we put in a lot of work, right? Know you or something? Yeah. Kill my brother. Who the fuck is your brother? Jimmy Blinds. Who the fuck is Jimmy Blinds? Fuck is the bread at, man? You playing games right now, man. You making this shit difficult, my nigga. Come on, man. We not leaving till we fucking get it, man. Yo, the money or your brain frags all over this motherfucking wall right now. Alright, alright, alright. Brillo pads and the Pringles cans. Check all the closets. Fucking Brello, man. Look at this shit, boy. Right. The fuck is the Pringles at? God, man. Fuck the bread in there, boy. What happened to mattresses and shit? Now we got bread and Pringles and fucking Brello packs. We off this. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yo, what the fuck? Where you at? Do you have it? Yeah. All that shit? All that shit. Come on, let's go. What the fuck we do with this nigga? Smoke that nigga. Wait, what? Why? You seen our faces. Come on, four boys. Life we live, though, boy. My dude. Sorry to hear about your brother, but you got the wrong person. Ain't no mistake, bitch. It's the face you gonna see before I put you in the grave, homie. I don't think you should talk like that around these parts, homie. Chill. This is not the time or the place for this. Fuck what you said. You're lucky I don't. Yo, what's up with this nigga, man? Point during that little situation, dude. Did you feel a little bit Malcolm X or anything? <laughs> Yo, get a gun, son. What? Get a gun, son. You playing? Excuse me, Miss Fletcher. Yes. I have those papers you asked for. Okay. But the reports on the Brooklyn building are missing. Okay, I uh, really need those files on the property in Brooklyn. Okay. Please find them. This is a very big account. I will. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, okay, Mr. Wong, we sent over three recommendations after the inspection reports. So that means that your policy is currently in cancellation status. Well, if you complied with the letters that we sent you, this conversation will be going differently. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry that this didn't work out for you this time, Mr. Wong. Maybe you can try again next time in the near future? Yeah. Oh. oh. Right. Okay. Yeah, great. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Miss Fletcher. Hello, Mr. Harris. What's up? Mm. <laughs> Trying to get through this office party upstairs. Yeah, me too. But, um, we're still on for lunch, right? Unless you want to eat in and eat at the employee's lounge. <laughs> I don't want to eat anywhere around these nosy ass people. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we try the eating place around the corner? I'm in desperate for a burger. Yeah, you read my mind. I was gonna say the same thing. 
Okay, cool. So, um, I'll meet you at noon, right? Okay. See you then. See you soon. Who, me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't judge you. By the way, you didn't stop to breathe until you took the lights out of that sandwich. <laughs> we still got like 45 minutes left. What else you want to do? Are you kidding? It's closing. We're going too far. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I really hate that bitch Moretti. She's constantly on my back on some micromanagement shit. It's so fucking annoying. Well, why do you think she's on you so hard? Because I speak my mind and I don't let them say any old type of bullshit to me. She got all types of dumbasses watching me in there. Like who? Like Scott. You know dumbass Scott. The one that looked like he got an ant farm or some shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, she got his ass spying on me. Every 15 minutes, he stands up and acts like he's looking around the office. But he stares at me the longest. And when, every time he does it, I'm like, can I help you? Oh my gosh, you are too much. It's just so fucking annoying. Yeah. Ooh. So you know George and Tanya's fucking, right? What? Wait. What Tanya? Tanya James. The one with the bad weave that thinks she's a Yes, ma'am. Oh my. Wait, but wasn't she just fucking with? Yeah, Derek. And now Derek's fucking with um with Brittany, you know. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Yeah. Guess he got him some white meat now, huh? Mm. I wanna put it past them. They all fucking each other in that office. Trust. You know they had bets on me <coughs> when I first came here. <coughs> really? The maintenance man told me when I first came, so just know they're hating you right now. Oh, well, let them hate. <laughs> oh, it's actually time for us to get out of here. Well, I'm dreading going back into that office. I just can't today. <laughs> yeah, I know it sucks, but you know it's closing time and we need all the accounts we can get. You know, I kind of like it when we close each month. <laughs> it feels kind of exciting. I don't want to go. Yeah, I know it's too hard, but we got to get it done. Mm -hmm. I know. <sighs> oh, I'll tell you what. When it's all said and done, maybe we can go back to your place. I'll grab a bottle of wine or any. I know you like it rough. And you know, you can let your man take care of you. I got some whipped cream and some strawberries. Listen, so baby. Just... Not tonight. You know how closing gets me. Well, I know. That's why I figured we could just go and relax and I'll take care of you. Baby, listen. I just want to kick back, relax, and be alone for tonight. For the rest of the week, for that matter. It's closing and I don't need any sexy distractions while I'm doing so. So, so rain check? Well, I guess. My queen gets what she wants. Thank you, baby. Oh, shit. Let's get back to this place that employs us. <laughs> you know, I'm still thinking about you calling me a sexy distraction, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Max. I'll take the bill.
Well, something did happen, but I don't know how to feel about it. Whether I should be relieved or sad, but right now I'm feeling both. So what happened? I had a miscarriage. Wait, what? Yo, I didn't even know you was pregnant. So when all this happened today? Yeah, this morning. Like around nine something. Last week the doctor told me I was two months. That's crazy. Yo, Renee, I know you don't see it right now, but everything gonna be all right. Did you tell the father? Hold on, hold on. Who is the fuck? Trav, when I tell you, I need you to be as calm as you can because I really don't want to bring a lot of attention to this situation. <laughs> Why are you acting like that? Who, who, who you messing with? One of the homies? Who, Frizz? Why would I be mad at that, though, if you were messing with Frizz? No, Trav. It's not Frizz. And I'm serious. I need you to be as calm as you can. So you told him what that bastard done to you? Huh? What he did to us? Trina, what the fuck are you talking about? Uncle Vincent. Uncle Vincent is the one who got Renee pregnant. He, he's been molesting us for years. Just please, please, please just tell me you won't kill him. Don't tell me this. And how long this shit been going on? It started with Drina six years ago. Six years ago? Yeah. So, this is how it happened. Like, I stopped by his shop one night while he closing to get like $20 from him because I was hungry and I ain't have no money. So he asked me to stay for a while because he was going to take me to where I needed to go to get something to eat. We talked for a minute and then James just started getting weird. He started talking about family, how we should love each other. And then he started talking about how pretty I was. I felt so disgusting so I just said, you know what, forget it. But no, I tried to leave and then he started to grab me and then it was just like... Hold on, hold on, hold on. stop, stop, stop. So when they, what happened with you? When Drina finally told me what happened, it's like two years has passed. So I went down to the shop to fuck him up. The shop was crowded. I was in there spazzing. Then once everything calmed down, he took me back to his office. And then the cool, calm, lovable Uncle Vince just, just changed. He grabbed me by my throat. He told me if I told the family or make any noise about it, that he would hurt Drina badly. And since I didn't want to mind my business, I had to take Drina's place. So, I agreed with his terms, so he wouldn't hurt Drina no more. Trav, please don't do anything crazy. Bitch, please. He gotta pay. Yo, yo, bro. Both of y'all, both of y'all relax. As local news, best news 12. I think I'm bullshit. I'm changing my life today. I'm getting me a job. And I'm so proud of you. But, Deuce, baby, you have no job skills. Thanks for joining us. I mean, Friday it's not funny, Jessica but you've never had a job in your life. Story tonight, and you saw it first here on 12. The medical examiner. Here you go with this negative shit. Keep that negative shit over there. 
I'm gonna change my life. Believe me, there's nothing that I'd rather see than you changing your life and succeeding. I'm not trying to be a buzzkill. I'm just trying to keep a realistic perspective on things. But I love your motivation and your attitude. You keep it up, it'll happen. Thank you, my love. Mm. Also, remember to open up an email account and check out this website. It's called Craigslist. They have quite a few job listings posted up there. I know you're a little slow, but you ain't that slow. You can do this. All right? Do you have any idea as to what you want to do? I've never really had a passion for anything. Yeah. Except crime. <laughs> Real funny, ugly. It's not true though. I got in the life of crime because I ain't know no better. Deuce, you had both parents in your life. My mom's passed when I was four. You knew right from wrong, didn't you? Of course I did, babe. But you know, things get blurred when you're trying to be the man. And you ain't got the right tools or the mental capacity to do so. Babe, I ain't never seen myself hurting my own kind. I just was looking out for my family. My family needed the help. And that decision led to you being locked up. And almost locked up for the rest of your damn life. That's why I gotta make things right. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Ella. Brooklyn. What? 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 Ain't no, ain't, ain't no, ain't no lineup. You ain't hear about no lineup? You ain't losing my time, bro. At all. Man, it's so excited, guys. Yeah. Yo, look, what up with all your homeboys? Hey. Big boxing, bro. Dub champ. So excited, guys. Better. So ain't no, yo, pull up with the grip. So ain't no little nigga flossing on the gram or nothing like that? Hell, no. I'm still looking all day, so I ain't see nobody. So I got a gift, so we, so I got a high old front. What today is, boy? Third. Third. Oh, shit. I got it. I got something I can do, boy. What is that? Solo job, bro. That's fucked up. Come on, solo job, bro. If it's to the poor, I got you. I'll give you a little eight, something like that. It ain't gonna be like crazy, maybe a bed, something, but I gotta do this by myself, because I don't want niggas to get caught, because it's, it's my old line right here, so. I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you up, sir. Yeah, I need to stay up, boy. Yo, I'm gonna hit y'all in the place. Yo. Take that, I'm about to call when it's all time to boys, stop this shit. Tonight, man, that's supposed to be lit, man. Water, man, that's where it's at. 
What's up, Joe? Hell was good. What's up, Joe? Hell was good. Hell was good. Hell was good. So how's everything, friends? So everything, everything, man. It's good, man. I should be back here in like a week or so. Okay. Good money. Okay. That's beautiful, man. So what's the news on the other thing we spoke about? What, the uh, shit with those? There ain't no answer on that right now, man. He on his old piece of pork shit right now, you know what I mean? No. Deuce out the game? Man, you kidding me, right? He gotta be working a different angle. Nah, man. He said he read a bunch of books and shit in jail, man. You know, he said this street shit we doing is killing our people and shit. So he wanted to get out the game, man. You know, he said we got to do something else. <laughs> they were about yeah, you could say that's true. But some of us didn't have any choice. Some of us had bastard parents who thought liquor and drugs was more important than their children. But that's neither here nor there. So with this news, you know this means we can't move forward. The only way this goes back into play is if and when. Do signs on as your partner. Hold on, hold on, Jams, man. Like, I don't even understand why we even need those, man. I've been coming back here straight money all the time. I've been handling our business together straight up. No problems, you know what I mean? Come on, man. I fucking don't even need those. Yeah, you have. But that's coke. We talking about heroin here. Not a lot of dudes out here got bricks of heroin. If you do that up, right, you bringing back 400000 which 100,000 of that is ours. That's a lot of money, Amanito, but you be a very paid man. I get it, I get that, man. But what I'm saying is we don't need those. Let me ask you something. Did you save my sore fast nephew in jail after we went through wars with each other? You know I ain't do that, man. But what I'm telling you is that Listen, you Listen, son did some shit that I would've never done. He's a good dude, so let's not forget and he's the reason why we're doing business. That's my man. And I got nothing but love him. But what I'm trying to tell you is no buts. Either you get Deuce on board or we ain't moving forward. Everything will stay the same. Good looking out for coming through. Good looking, man. This nigga out my gun, man. Oh, they go down there. They go down there. Go down. Go down, Scott. Look good, you know? Yo, we're out of here. Come on, that's an out of the cool, man. Man, go down the block, man. Make a right. You already know what it is, man. Right? No, yes. Take it easy, my G. Yes, sir. It's a hot winter, cop shot in the middle of December, it's cops everywhere, my job ain't paying enough, coke sales moving slow like a turtle on a snail, got a little cousin now told me on bail, five shots in the cell, send them back high school in jail, rent's getting raised like a crane, suck another blood to the flame, but I can't complain, coming out of town with me too, I'm living, but a nigga ain't living good to me. Son, I told you I wasn't in the game anymore. No, fuck all. My nigga, racks. So I'ma tell you right now, nigga. You can make a lot of bread, son. No bullshit. Yo, 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 yo. I don't care. I can't talk right now, Jack. My life is good. Interview. Hello? Yo. This nigga banged on me. This fucking ice guy. This nigga fucking in it. Come on, man. 
Lighten up a little clip on the park bench. See a D car moving with the dark tents. Just the murder, I ain't been inside the park since. Trying to move it like a fast break offense. I need overtime like the game's tied up. This strip is like a desert land dried up. I apply for another job, cause this job got nines involved. But times is hard, man. Straight. So how'd you hear about this job? The one that's in the paper. I see you have no work experience at all. And you've been convicted of a felony. Just got released from prison. Doing eight year bit. Um, for what I might ask? Drugs and a firearm. Are you currently on parole? Yes, I am. I'm going to be honest with you. Being a felon and not having work experience is not going to hurt you, but you being on parole might jam you. I'm a really good worker. I'm a fast learner. I need this job. Um, I, don't, I don't doubt it, Mr. Smith, but those are the rules of the company, man. So when you get off parole, just come back, all right? Good afternoon, Simone Fletcher speaking. Hey, baby. How's the job search going? <laughs> that good, huh? No, I'm not laughing at you. But I told you. I told you. Don't worry. I got you. <laughs> hey, pretty lady. What you doing? Who are you talking to? Nothing. And I was on the phone with my cousin's daughter before you rolled up on me and scared the shit out of me. Oh. Stop hey. doing that shit. I'll leave now. I'm sorry if I frightened you. I'll try to make some noise next time I come around. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I'm good. Well, have a good day. You too. Oh, you gotta come back like 15-20 minutes. Oh, so come back in 15-20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Rose, Why am I sneaking up on you and shit? What was that about? 
Did I do something wrong? Tell me. Look, just stop sneaking up on me like you're some type of fucking spy, all right? What, you didn't have a problem with it before? Well, I have a problem with it now. I just didn't say anything before because I didn't want to start an argument. Just stop doing this shit, okay? And don't fucking question me. You don't fucking know me. I guess I don't. Now, that's why they invented phones. So you're gonna have to see people and come all the way over there talk to you. Alright, man. I'll be open. Yeah, we're open. First, nigga, you looking like a beige usher. What the fuck is you wearing, man? Second, nigga, I got an opportunity for us to make some money, boy. What up? What's that? I just need you to be out of town with me in these situations. So I said no, my nigga. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, you can make 300 fucking racks. Just come out of town with me, man. So I don't give a fuck what it is, though. I ain't fucking with it. So why you don't hear me, my nigga? That shit's a trap, my nigga. We gonna fuck around and just die over this bullshit. My nigga, we all gonna die someday, man. Might as well get fucking money, nigga. Even if it means killing your own people. Look, my nigga, if they don't get it from us, they gonna get it from somebody else. Cut the bullshit. Son, that's bullshit, son. That's the motherfucking truth, my nigga. You wanna hear some more truth, Dick Gregory? I done seen you wrong. Hell, Man, do all type of shit, nigga. So cut the bullshit, man. So we ain't know no fucking better. You know what I'm saying? But if we change, everybody else gonna change. You feel what I'm saying? Son, look around, boy. Ain't shit changing, boy. Ain't nothing changing around here. Like it or not, son, we crossed that line years ago. Years ago, my nigga. Ain't no coming back. It's either death a fucking jail for us, homie. You heard? That's it. Something we can change. <laughs> Playing a fucking dangerous game, my nigga. Get back in the game and get to who the fuck you is, man. dick up in the house. No, bitch, I'm alone. Shit, I need to have some dick up in here. All right, pull out the bottles. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. This gotta be good. See you in a minute. This is a nice lick right here, y'all. I ain't going for this, man. I thought this was gonna be like Seven to eight, like the last time. No, that's why I told you 15, 20 minutes. So you know that it was that. Nah, I thought you were saying 15, 20, like, because you was about to come out in 15, 20 minutes. No, that. 
like 15 bands, anywhere around 15 to 20 bands. That's what's up. I was I was on point, but next to now I know. That's, that's a good code, though. I ain't gonna always say you gotta put me yours, though. Yeah, you know. So, this how we gonna split this shit up, you know? We're we gonna do it like this. I'm gonna give you, I'm giving you three bands, son. I'm gonna give you an extra band because you like the way you did that shit, son. No luck. Don't be balling out and wilding out. Don't let your moms find that shit. I don't get nothing, son. You heard? You already know. This is my young boy right here, you heard? You I got 45 for you. Let's do shit. You already. Thank you. That's right. No, thank you. We already know. We doing the yo. You ain't getting no word on no other time. When we doing the next time, no, like, they gonna be having somebody with you or anything. Oh, I don't know. I ain't hitting nothing yet. I do. I look for Nah, make sure you let me know though. Uh, You're the mother. Thank you. Alright. Yo, be safe though. Okay. Hit me if anything. Okay. No more watching for cars, literally zero. Yo, mom, what? What do you want? Alright, alright. I'm about to. I'm, I just thought. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna holler at you when I get close. I'll call you back. Peace out. Alright, break down. Yeah, we gotta get the ball ball. Man, I gotta stop him. <laughs> Get a job. Hey girl. Hey, okay. <laughs> so what's going on? Tell me what's up. I was, Bitch. I was hoping you was coming to let me do them edges, but I see not. Yeah, so go. Way to y'all. <laughs> go. Bitch. I'm in a situation. Girl, I need me one of them right now. <laughs> well, you know I've been dealing with Vaughn, right? Yeah, what's up with him? How is he? He's good. You know, I've been treating him like Stone Cold shit lately, though. I mean, he's a good guy, you know, but... But... Well, since I let Deuce get paroled to my house. Bitch, what? You you let Deuce parole to your crib? Bitch, I know, I know, but I can't never tell him. No, that's my baby. Is the dick still good? That is none of your business. <laughs> but yes, girl. <laughs> yes, it is. I don't know. Vaughn is more of like a passionate sex type, you know? My feelings are growing deeper for him, and the sex is good and everything, but... I ain't got nothing on my baby dudes. When you find a dude that can put it down on you, I think Trav got that in him. Trav? <laughs> Bitch, you know I always had a thing for Trav. He dangerous though. Mm. But if I keep getting this whack shit out here that I've been getting, I might get brain <laughs> and put it on him. <laughs> I know that's right. But girl, I feel so fucked up. Like I said, Vaughn is a good guy, but me and Deuce have history and chemistry. A hey, good dick. Glad you made it. So how you been? You look well. Have a seat. I'm not trying to be alone. I came to see what you wanted, but I'm I'm not I got things to do. Please. Have a seat. What you call me over here for? Like, I came, so I, I think you should tell me, like, so I could get up out of here. 
I just want to talk to you because I want to start over. I want to build our relationship again. Really? Look, baby, I know you're still angry and you got every right to be. But I'm, I'm asking you for my forgiveness. So you want forgiveness? Fuck forgiveness. I can't forgive you for letting a man beat me senseless and you stood there and watched. I can't. Believe me when I tell you. I felt horrible not having the strength to help you, to stop it. Fuck out of here. You let this shit go on for years and you just stood in the room and did nothing. As I was getting beat, you did nothing, absolutely nothing. I was, I was scared too. So how the fuck you think I felt? Me, your only son, a little kid, getting beat by a grown man for years. You know what? That's why you selfish. Matter of fact, fuck you. Lose my number. Don't call me no more. I'm never coming over here again.